Hello everyone, this is Charlie Grimponic. Here is a short video to show you how to install our final kit that um, our Kickstarter backers uh, are getting uh, during this month of May 2021. Uh, so uh, this is the updated kit from uh, the Kickstarter version. Uh, I've made a previous video uh, to show you all the updates, why we made those um, in order to solve what kind of issue and to improve the product in, in what way. So now what I'm going to show you is the package that everybody is going to get, what's inside that package and how you install all that material because you got um, uh, uh, quite a lot of parts uh, to deal with. So I'm going to show you uh, what you have in the packages, uh, the modules, the tubes, the cables, how you hook up all that. And don't hesitate to let a uh, comment in the uh, comment section below if you got any questions. So here is the package you are going to get when you are a backer. Uh, this is a package with multiple sub-packages. Um, we've used uh, some things, some chips like that. It's not plastic, you can put it in water and dissolve it. Don't worry about that. Uh, we, are, we have tried to use only carton board, uh, very simple stuff. And we've made some stencil to uh, make the logo uh, on the, the boxes. Very simple things uh, because we wanted to be efficient and not to make you guys wait for the thing to come to you. So the first one uh, will be the water brain. The water brain is the main module you will have in your setup. Here it is. And so uh, this guy has the main indicators right here. You've got EC and pH. You've got backlights, RGB lighting that will make uh, some colors from uh, those indicators to show you the status uh, of your EC and pH. Right here you got the I.O. So uh, your power input uh, with the power socket we provide. You've got the link, uh, which is a USB-C that goes to your secondary module. Uh, that, that will be the dozer, the water pump. Uh, you've got a small hole here uh, to access a um, secret button. The secret switch is made to access a secret module, such as um, reset, factory resets, things like that, that you will see in the user manual. And here you got the sensor's temperature for the water temperature. Uh, you got the EC sensor right here, on, it's a BNC, and another BNC here for pH. In, inside you have other sensors. Uh, you got the temperature and humidity sensor um, for the air and also uh, the ambient light sensor. Uh, so uh, keep in mind all the sensors you got inside is uh, good uh, for uh, climate, so you have the real temperature and humidity. Uh, for the light, you will not be able to have something crazy accurate, meaning that we will not tell you how many lumen you, ha you have, but if your light is working or not. Um, it, it will be important for later updates. And here you have uh, the vents. So you have a cooling system inside it, an air cooling system. Uh, this is the inlet and the outlet with a small fan in it. Uh, and Right um, after the inlet, you got the air sensors and the light sensors. Now the second one is the water pump. So the water pump will be your dosing module. This dosing module uh, comes pre-equipped. I will put it on the floor. It comes already equipped with its harness. Uh, so this water pump has uh, four dosing pumps. Uh, the Honest is equipped with um, air and water uh, pneumatic connectors that you can easily push to uh, release or uh, connect a tube, just like this one. Those are six millimeters uh, outside diameter tubes and we've made it so that it's easy to intervene on the, the pump itself. So for example, if you want to check your pump head to clean, to clean all the tube, you can release by pressing here and pulling the tube. Take the head away and you can open the head and see what's inside um, and uh, clean the tube itself. Put it back like this. You press, you insert the tube, you're done. 
So uh, those connectors are a bit more expensive than what we expected uh, to use at the beginning, but uh, we think that it's better to have uh, more expensive stuff uh, to have better quality, reliability and ability to maintain uh, this module on the long term. In terms of I.O., you've got your mixed pump connector, so this is, the power, this is the power supply of the pump that would be used to push water in this harness and push it back to your water reservoir. Here is the um, link input, link outputs, so those are two USB-C ports. Uh, that will get the data and the power from the water brain and if you add more modules like that uh, you can unplug it right here and daisy chain and make water brain, water pump, water pump, water pump for example to add more pumps uh, in your system. That's basically it. Uh, so we got the green pony brand right here. You've got uh, your hole for um, the mountain brackets. I will show you that later. And you've got some uh, switches here. So basically you are able to press each switch so that you can activate each pump independently. Uh, this is the case for pump one to four and also the mix pump that is plugged here uh, that you'll be able to use manually. Next up, we have the sensors. So the sensors are the very important part of your setup in that you will have multiple things. You will have, of course, sensors. Uh, you have some special caps that you can put on your sensor. We put some uh, labels. You see EC here. This is the one for pH. Those little container are small caps that you can put your uh, calibration liquid in it, put it on the sensor and uh, calibrate it with the app. And uh, after that, you just uh, pull it back, uh, clean the sensor, clean the cap, and you're good to go for the calibration. We've tried to make it easy for you guys. The first sensor here is the pH sensor. So this is an industrial pH sensor that will be equipped with a um, clear, uh, transparent plastic cap that will be threaded right here with some solution in it to um, keep it uh, from a lack of humidity because this kind of sensor doesn't like to be dry for a long time. This is equipped with a five meters cables, cable that you can put everywhere. Those sensors have a thread and we have an interface here that you will thread on the sensor so that it can be inserted in its sensor block. This is the sensor block. So if we take the EC sensor, for example, we've made a quick fitting like this. You push the sensor, you turn a bit and it's locked. Over. And you have the sensitive, uh, sensitive elements uh, that goes a little bit um, away from this block um, and here you will put the sensor, the pH sensor equipped with its interface and this uh, part has a multiple, um, uh, multiple features so you have the EC and pH sensor that you can put in and you have also the input for the exterior uh, the mix pump harness um, so you will put a tube right here that goes to the mix pump and the, um, the nutrient will be injected uh, in that harness. The water will go back right here and will be ejected here, spread into uh, your uh, water tank. Uh, on the inlet, we've also put a mesh filter that you can uh, take out and put back in uh, after a cleanup. That allows us to avoid big particles to go into the mix pump that doesn't like particles so much. Next up, we have the mix pump. So the mix pump is a big pump like that, that will be put near your dosing pump. So this little guy right here will be linked to the mix pump, uh, to the water pump, sorry. Um, and its job will be to uh, pump air and water from your water reservoir and push all that into your harness uh, so that it can spread um, all the nutrients mixed to the liquid into your water uh, reservoir. This pump comes with uh, two interfaces and to change the diameters from here, 10 millimeters to here, six millimeters. And we will show you how to equip all that later on. Next up, 
it is the box containing the tubes, uh, the I.O. tubes and also other kinds of I.O. Uh, for the I.O. you've got uh, first your USB-C cable. So this cable is the one that will link your water brain with your uh, water pump. And it's very important to know that we are using those kind of cables with uh, high currents uh, on this bus. And also it's not 5 volts, it's 12 volts, so it's quite high. Um, and you must not put anything plugged um, on those modules other than uh, green point products because if you plug for example a smartphone the smartphone will die instantly it's not made for that it's very important i will put warnings everywhere uh, for that point and now you have the uh, wall brackets so that those are uh, standard kitchen um, furniture wall brackets you know with some screws so, they, so that you can install all this everywhere uh, anywhere you want and you've got some tubes so you've got two time uh, two kind of tubes in there uh, you've got oh sorry you've got um, four tubes that are uh, 40 centimeters they are going to be plugged right here on the inlet of each pump and going to be immersed on the other side uh, in your nutrients bottles and this one is the big one that will be used to pull the water from your sensor block right here to your mix pump and back into your water reservoir after that. Last but not least, you got your power brick. So the power brick is a power supply. I kept the, the ugliest box for the video, so stupid of me. Anyway, it's the 12 volt uh, 4M power supply uh, that will be plugged into uh, your water brain and that uh, will power the whole system. So I will show you how to plug it later on um, on the video. First, you will install the wall brackets on your wall, on your panel, whatever you will use. Make sure it's installed, you know, uh, balanced, so that when you put your, both of the modules, it's, you know, quite horizontal. Now you can take your mix pump and take out the caps you have on it and install on the right the little tube that's provided with it and on the left the same tube. Make sure that when you place it on your wall to trace the future screw bases that the tubes that is on the right of the mix pump is aligned to uh, the input of the harness. Now we install it and we just have to put this tube into the harness input. Then you can plug in the mix pump to the water pump. Now take the USB cable that is provided. This cable is a USB-C, you can place it in both directions. It's two meters, so you should have enough to plug the both modules together. It goes on the water brain on one side and on the water pump USB-C port that is on the left. Now let's take care of our sensors. We have the pH industrial sensor right here. When it's delivered to you, it will have a transparent cap. Take it out and put this, the green interface cap on the sensor. You should now be able to insert this sensor in the wall sensor block by using a quarter rotation movement. Now you will take the longest tube that was provided in the tube box and cut it in half. The cut must be very clean and 90 degrees so that you avoid any leaks. Again, please use the proper protection so you don't hurt yourself in the process. This tube we will cut it in half. You connect the first tube to the mix pump inlet and to the input written on the sensor block. This is a push release connection. Now you place the second tube on the RNS output and plug it to the sensor block output. When all of that is done, it's time to sort out your cables. You can use the provided adhesive colors to keep them attached together. Now we'll connect the PN sensor, which is the BNC that is alone. Connect it on the BNC on the right of the water brain and connect the BNC that comes with the jack 
on the remaining parts. This is for the EC sensor, for the BNC parts, and the jack is for the temperature sensor included in the EC sensor for compensation. And we will install the tubes that will go into your nutrients bottles. So those tubes are the, one of the four that is provided in the tube box. You have a barbed connector which is white at the end of it. You can use some mineral oil on it. Um, it's to make it make the insertion easier. For this test, we'll put only one, as we won't need the other ones. Next, we'll prepare the cap of your nutrient bottle. Here we have some Terra Aquatica three parts, and we will make a hole into this cap. This will be a six milliliter hole. With the drill, be sure that you wear the protection needed. When it's done and clean, you can install the cap back on the bottle. Take one of the four tubes provided that comes with white fitting. Those tubes are meant to go into your nutrient bottles. Make sure that they are inserted in the pump correctly and reach the bottom of the bottle. Now that it's all set, we'll install our demo reservoir and take our nutrient bottle. Now it's time to install the sensor block at the bottom of your reservoir. Make sure it's leveled in at the real bottom so that it's submerged at all times. Last but not least, take your power supply and plug it to your water brain. This is the last port that is on the left of the device. The water brain will get the electricity and will give this electricity through the USB-C cable to the water pump. And that's it for now. Next, we'll show you how to work with the app. Talk to you soon.